Okay, today we're going to cover another uh, drawing recursion example. Uh, this is called the uh, Sperpinski Triangle, and it's actually a fractal shape in that if you keep drawing it, um, the smaller shapes you draw are uh, in microcosm the same as the larger shapes, and as you go smaller and smaller and smaller, you're still drawing the same shape. Uh, so fractal shapes are uh, images you see that as you zoom in, you keep saying, seeing exactly the same thing at a smaller and smaller scale. So uh, uh, the triangle, it's obviously a triangle. And you start by drawing a triangle. And uh, there are two ways of explaining it. One way is that uh, you take this triangle and then you cut out a equilateral triangle that's drawn between the midpoints of this triangle. So you would cut out a triangle uh, how we're actually going to do it in code is we're actually going to draw the original triangle and then we're going to draw three new triangles on top of it. You'll see the top left and right. So you continue with that, so each of the three triangles you have left, uh, you now draw three triangles around it or cut out one in the center. So we'll do that for the first one and the second one and the third one. And then you continue, so for each of all of these smaller triangles, you start cutting out new triangles. And you can see how this is recursive in that the smaller triangles, everything gets keeps smaller and smaller. Uh, what you do is you set a base case of how small or how many levels you want to go down in terms of doing this process. And, and then if you reach that level, uh, you would stop recursing and return. So that's basically it. So the algorithm Basically, you're given three points that define the points on a triangle of equal sides, P1, P2, and P3. You go ahead and draw it. And then you calculate three new points, which are the midpoints of each side. So the side from P1 to P2, the midpoint of P2 to P3, and the midpoint of P1 to P3. And we'll show you a little picture of that on the next slide. And then you repeat this uh, step for each of the new triangles defined uh, by these set of points. So you take one of the original points and two of the midpoints and these three uh, sets of points to find three new triangles which are the ones we saw in the previous picture. Um, so these are the midpoints and so the, the between this original point and two of the midpoints you get a new triangle and you're defining all three of those. and you repeat that. So here's a diagram. So here's the original triangles P1 to P2 and P3 and you're calculating the midpoints A, B, and C and then you're using these new midpoints and the original points to define three smaller triangles and you're calling it recursively. So the recursive part is you repeat step one uh, for these three new ones. So uh, when you repeat step one for P1, A, and C the new P1, P2, and P3 are those points, and now you're going to recurse. So that's the idea. And as you recurse and draw the new triangles, uh, you fill them in like that. You have to do them in a certain order. I think the book does them a little different order than I have on the slides, uh, which you'll see. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the code here. So we import turtle, and we're going to define some useful methods. The first one is just to draw a triangle. So given an array of arrays of points, or actually a list of a list of points, and a color, and the turtle object, uh, what we're going to do is set the fill color to color. This is how you uh, actually fill an area. So first you set the fill color, and it puts the pin up, and it goes to uh, the first point, so this is the first point, the first coordinate, and the first point, this x coordinate, so 0 will be x coordinate, so y will be, uh, the 1 will be the second, the y coordinate, and 0 represents the first point, so this is a list of lists. We put the pin down, and then we begin the fill, and we draw to the three points defined uh, in the array, and then we call end fill and basically what you're doing is you begin fill and you move the turtle with the pin down to different points and then you say infill it will fill in those points 
uh, and end up back at the original point. So that draws one triangle. This is uh, just a simple function. The given two points return the midpoint. So it gets the uh, sum of the two x values divided by 2 and the sum of the two y values divided by 2. Uh, we're going to cycle the colors when we draw this. So there's a color map. And then uh, there are, uh, uh, and it goes through these colors. So we're only going to do a depth of 3, but you can increase the depth. You'll see it cycle through all these colors in drawing, the, uh, drawing it out. And then we draw the original big triangle, but remember this is recursive, so we may have been called by a smaller triangle at one of the steps. So once we've uh, drawn the big triangle, uh, if the degree hasn't reached zero, we draw the three smaller triangles, and these just look up the points for that by calculating the midpoints. And then we, uh, in somewhere we decrement the degree. Oh, when we call it, we call it with degree minus one. So when we recurse, we pass it a parameter that's one less. So that's decreasing the degree. And main just uh, sets up the turtle. I have some extra code to set up the screen, speed it up. And then we set the initial three points. So these are the three points of the original triangle. And then it just calls it, and it's going to recurse for three levels. And you can play with increasing that number to more levels. And that's it. Let's go ahead and run it, and when it finishes, I'll finish the slideshow. Now when you ran it, you'll notice it, it recurses uh, drawing the large rectangle, and then it goes to a corner and draws that rectangle, triangle and then it goes to the bottom left corner and draws that triangle, and then the bottom left corner draws that triangle, because uh, it's going to recurse in this first call here, drawing the lower left triangle for successfully smaller and smaller until it gets to the base case, and this, this one will return, and then it's going to do the complete uh, right lower side, and then when this returns, it's going to come back and do the upper, uh, the upper triangle recursing all the way down. So that's the pattern you see.